Well, this morning we're seeing lots of clouds uh, to the east of us and southeast of us with uh, a lot of moisture hanging around southern Kentucky as uh, we take a look at the studio. All right. <laughs> 74 degrees right now in Bowling Green. <laughs> Just got a nice panoramic shot there. All right, as we look at radar, we're seeing scattered showers out to the south and east of us. Some of these are putting down some pretty decent rainfall along I-40 toward the Cookville area. And then as you head over toward the I-75 corridor, some scattered showers there. This is nothing but bug bugs and birds coming out of uh, Hopkins County, out of the Madisonville area. We pick up on that this time every morning about around this time. 74, the current temperature reading right now. We do have a heat advisory in effect for today, and that is going to last all the way through Saturday evening. It's right now for our western counties, which would include Muhlenberg, McLean, Hopkins, Christian, and Todd counties, the community of Greenville, Central City, Powderly, Calhoun, Madisonville, Erlington, Hopkinsville, all included in that into western Kentucky. But I do expect this heat advisory to be expanded further east as we go through time. It could even be today. And it looks like through the weekend, even into the beginning of next week, this heat is going to be on big time. Here's a look at temperatures right now. We're starting in a muggy uh, well, mid to upper 60s to the north, low to mid 70s further south along the southern tier of counties here in southern Kentucky this morning with the dew points almost being the same as the air temperature, which means the air is holding all the moisture that it can hold and it feels muggy and it's going to stay that way for a long time, it appears. Live view from Doppler cam showing a mainly fair sky, but all that haze, you're going to see a lot of haze sitting around the area for the next uh, couple of days. 74, current temperature now with a light south wind at 3 miles per hour. Russellville, you're starting the day fair with a temperature of 73 degrees. Glasgow, you're at 73 as well in Barron County this morning from our AAA Systems Networks. Uh, Franklin at 72 this morning there in Simpson County. And seeing some fog in the Mammoth Cave National Park area, your temperature is at 73 degrees. Here is another problem besides the combined heat and humidity. Check this out for the first time this season. The pollen count is in the extra high category. That is ragweed pollen. If you've got a dry mouth, if your, your sinuses are messed up, ragweed. That is the big culprit right now. Uh, the uh, Powerball uh, Kentucky Lottery jackpot, $60 million for tonight. Mega Millions drawing estimated to be at $180 million for the next drawing. Green River Lake, that's our hometown forecast today. 91 Greensburg, 92 Campbellsville, 90 for Columbia. Just hot and humid as we go through the next few days. You could pick up a shower Maybe a thunderstorm in our area this afternoon and around the lake, 74. Temperature right now in Bowling Green. Last night, we had a strong thunderstorm there. Came out of Hardin, went into Hart and LaRue counties. Some gusty winds, lots of light, big light show, even from Bowling Green. If you were looking up to the north, you could see a lot of lightning in the atmosphere with those uh, tops of those thunderstorms. It's quiet right now, but we could get a shower really any place, any time during the day. And more showers and thunderstorms will pop up as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. And it's really an any place, any time kind of splash and dash kind of a situation. As we get into tonight, things are quiet. Tomorrow, still hot and humid, a few clouds around, possibility of an isolated shower too, but our rain chances after tomorrow really start to go down and then the heat is on for a long time. Hot and humid, chance of a thunderstorm or two this afternoon, a high of 93, heat index close to 100 degrees, 73 tonight, muggy with scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. And then check the numbers out here, but that really doesn't tell the story. Even though we're looking at mid to upper 90s, through the upcoming weekend and into the beginning of next week, we take out the rain chances, but what you don't see there, when you throw in the humidity, that muggy air that's sitting around with those kind of numbers, you're talking heat index levels between 100, 105, maybe even close to 110 degrees during the heat of the afternoon. So please use caution if yes. you have to be outdoors. Yes.